What's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Alright, so this video, I gotta get some stuff done on the Mustang. I, I just gotta hunker down, get it done, so every day after work this week, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the car. So even if it's just a tiny little thing, but I'm gonna make some kind of progress every single day. So the goal today is to get that oil or the sending unit in the car. I got the brass adapter fitting and I got well, I got the brass adapter fitting, and so we're gonna put that thing in the side of the, the block and then put the sending unit in and get that in. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do tonight, and I haven't got past that. So that's where we're gonna be starting off, and we're gonna get into it and start putting the little sending unit on. the adapter the brass adapter fitting and it's a half inch to quarter inch so this fits and so since it is a plumbing fitting it's not gonna tighten up all the way it like has an expanding thread or something or other on it so I'm just gonna wrap some Teflon tape around this and thread it in and then I think I'm gonna wrap Teflon tape around the outside part of it and then pop it in so that's the game plan I've been told I never put my Teflon tape on the right way, so we're actually gonna try this time. Yeah, I think that was right. You can correct me. No, it's wrong. It looks like there's a ton of space. It looks like nothing's gonna hit. But as soon as I put my throttle body on, the throttle linkage hits right here on the valve cover. So right now, I bought another half inch spacer and I'm going to mount everything up and see if it all works together. So I'm gonna get that done real quick and hopefully it works. Alright, so just some small progress tonight. Like you saw, I got the sending unit on and that little adapter fitting, it's a half inch to a quarter inch. It worked out pretty good. So um, it came out really, yeah, actually here, just look at it. Besides me explaining, look. So yeah, it came out and you can see the fitting in there and it looks, it looks awesome. So I'm pretty happy with that result. And so that came out good and it was just as easy as that. All right, and then as you probably saw, I got the throttle body hooked up, I got the elbow hooked up, and the janky carp spacers. <laughs> but yeah, I was that like one of the first things that got me real worried because I was like, oh no, it's not gonna work. It's, uh, you know, and I just got it on there to make sure everything would fit, everything would work correctly because that was like a big worry of mine that the throttle body wasn't gonna work. So I didn't tell you, show you, but I got a half inch phenolytic carb spacer plastic carb spacer and I put that on top of my one inch carb spacer so now it's an inch and a half and it fits and it just barely fits but it's kind of janky and I really don't want to leave it like that but for now it's just a band-aid really to get the car running because I, I'm, I'm on a limited time and I just got to get something done so this is just a band-aid and then 
like I said, when I'm off on surgery, I'll have all the time in the world to get OCD and make sure it looks perfect. And maybe I can get like a one and a half inch spacer billet made or I'll figure out something. At the end of the day, something will get figured out. So at, right now it is all working good and everything's just bolted together lightly. I got to get some different studs for the carb spacers because they're too short. I, they're one inch carb spacers and it's an inch and a half. So I'm going to have to go get some bolts or some studs or something to figure that out. But I made progress. So that part's always good. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll probably think about it while I'm at work. But it was just a quick little good thing. I, I got to get some stuff done. So like I said, every night after work, we're going to get some stuff done. So that was tonight and came out good. So check out the elbow. So even though that carb spacer's on there, it, I'm digging it. I'm happy with the way it looks right now. I, that carb spacer is so janky. I can't even take it. <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. So, but it does look good. Everything looks really good on it. You can see all that. So it clears. That's where I was having clearance issues, but it, it clears perfectly now, so I don't gotta worry about it. And the IAC fits perfect. This half inch spacer from TrickFlow actually worked out really well between here, because I gotta get this all machined off to fit under my hood, because there's this giant turd on the top that needs to get pulled off. So that's another thing I gotta do, but I don't gotta do it now after surgery. So that was tonight, and we're gonna continue on this tomorrow night and get more done. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, we're back, it's tomorrow. So today I think I decided at work, I'm gonna put the short throw shifter in the car. So I'm gonna clean it up and then put that Perpetex Ultra Seal Black, something ultra black, something like that. And we're gonna get the short throw in the car. I have a Hurst, yeah, it's a Hurst Ford Performance short throw T5. I know the Triax is really good, but I don't know. I like Ford Performance stuff's always good. So that's what I got. So I'm gonna clean it up, put it in the car. And the other thing I wanna do is that I have the heater tubes. Um, they're already sanded up. There's a little bit of rust on the end, so I'm gonna take the wire wheel, grind it off, and then repaint it. And that's the goal for the night. If we get more done, we get more done. But for now, that's what I wanna get done. <laughs> so this is the starting point of it. And those threads are nasty. There's a little bit of rust I'm gonna kill. I taped off my sensor. Um, I don't know what to do with that bar, but it, it, we'll figure that out later. And so it's all sanded up as you can see. I'm going to grind that or wire wheel that and clean it up and then we're gonna paint it. So let's get into it. Oh, and here is my short throw shifter. You can see it's really dirty, but it worked really good. So we're gonna wipe that off, clean it up, get all the original ultra black off of it and put it back in the car. So that's the goal. So I'm putting the new shifter in, the short throw, and I'm cleaning up the, the gasket maker on it, the Permatex Black, and so I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, Don't, this is just weird. So I watched that, the how-to video on how to put a short throw in your, so this is a Hurst Ford Performance T5, T45 shifter. So the guy I had put it on this before, he put the spacer that's only supposed to be used with a T45, not a T5. So I mean, I don't know what that could do, having a, uh, what is a 16th inch spacer on your transmission with the shifter? I just know it probably isn't good. So that's a bummer. Um, maybe that's where my vibration was coming from in the shifter. So I don't know. But so I, now I got to get this thing off and put it in the car. It's just, I feel so much better doing the work myself sometimes. <sighs> All right, I'll check back in a little bit.
uh, short throw shifter is installed. I'm sorry it wasn't like more of a how-to video. I just I want a time crunch and I got to get this stuff done. I'd love to go into detail of what I did and maybe in the description or in like the time lapse kind of a thing. I'll just put what I did, how I did it, just little tidbits because it's really not that hard. It's just like step by step. So maybe I'll do that. And plus it was a brand new transmission so I didn't have to clean anything or whatever. I, it was like opposite. I had to clean the short throw shifter but I didn't have to clean the transmission backwards <laughs> so it, it turned out good though um let me show you the progress so there it is you can't really see it oh there it is the hearse look how cool that is so it all came in good i'm not trying to shift it because there's no fluid in it yet but it came out really good all the sealants in there it almost doesn't move at all so it seems really good so i'm very happy with that i'm gonna i did adjust the bump stops that was i did and shipped it into a gear just for that reason but otherwise very happy so we're getting closer okay and so for the next thing i'm gonna do i i'm gonna gap my spark plugs just so when i put, go to put them in the car they're already gapped and i don't gotta worry about it so all of them need to be gapped at 30 that's what um my engine builder pettis performance told me to do so i'm just gonna do it so i'm gonna uh gap them to 30 and they'll just be ready so it's just an easy thing i can get done real quick That's it for the night. So got the spark plugs gapped, got the heater tube painted, and got the short throw shifter installed. So productive night again. Doing good. Uh, the after work thing is kind of got us going on. Doing pretty good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. So it's uh, Wednesday night, and like I, I was supposed to do all this cool stuff and drill the hole in the spacer for the intake air temperature sensor and all this good stuff, right? But it didn't happen. Why it didn't happen is on the my SRT4 that I drive to work and everything, so the wheel bearing went bad a couple weeks ago and it created a wear mark on one of my tires. And so I started feeling this vibration and so I pulled the tire off just to look and see what happened and it had worn in this weird, it created this weird wear pattern and it was showing belt. So, and I can't drive to work like that. So I had to go and change all the tires. Plus I got home late from work anyway. And it just, it wouldn't help nothing. So I didn't get anything done on the most thing today. And it was kind of sad. I, I, it sucks. I wanted to get stuff done, but we did make some progress the last couple days and I'm very happy with that. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm real happy. <laughs> so, but on the next video, I will be, I'll be setting initial timing on the Mustang, on the new engine, and I'll be getting those, the intake air temperature sensor bung or drilled, tapped into the spacer, and then the two quarter inch um, vacuum hoses, vacuum ports. Uh, drilled and tapped into the spacer as well and the space will be able to the space will, oh my god the spacer will be ready to go on and I can actually tighten everything down and it'll be ready to go and that'll be my Sunday video and I, I'll probably get like the thermostat housing on and a couple other things hopefully the power steering and the AC on as well it'll be really close this weekend I mean I, all the little stuff will be tied up and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So, but that is the end of this video tonight, guys. And I appreciate the support. I pre appreciate you watching this. And if you made it this far, like always, please like, please subscribe. Helps me out. Uh, totally helps me out a lot. And I just, it's super appreciated. So thanks again for watching. And on that, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Cool. This wasn't in the instruction manual.